Welcome back to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. I, of course, am your host, KC Phoenix, and I am doing a quick three tarot, which is for the collective. It's not for a specific sign. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. What I plan on doing today is using my motivational deck. This is like a motivational deck. And then I'll clarify it with the tarot deck and just see what comes out and do that. Also, before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. Now, th- this is so random. Just a little side note, and-, and this doesn't have anything to do with the quick three. If you hear something about Baltimore, good or bad, <laughs> don't be surprised. I don't know why, because this is just the side stuff. This is how I usually discern like what are premonitions sometimes and what are actual dreams when I have them. And usually it's if I dream about something that I'm like, why was that in my dream? Why did that come? Why was that on my mind? Or if certain things happen, um, you know, in if, if, if it's in sequence, certain things happen like back to back, then my spidey sense starts to go off. And I had a dream this morning that I was in Baltimore and I was walking around, but I was in more of a, um, I don't know, suburban, not suburban area, I guess more of a country-like area, but it was still Baltimore. Mind you, I haven't been to DC area in decades, but I digress. So I'm doing all the stuff and it was just a regular dream. It wasn't anything crazy. It was just me walking around doing this, doing that. And then at the end of the dream, like two or three dogs came up, started walking towards me when I was in front of this house. And I was by a tree, so I broke off a branch because I couldn't tell if the dogs were friendly or not. So I'm like, okay, let me get a branch just in case because you never know. And right then I woke up and I was just like, oh, okay, fine, whatever. So I prepared to go back to sleep. For those who have been my longtime listeners, you know I usually have a movie playing in the background when I go to sleep. And also, you all, you also know that I have a gazillion movies to choose from as well. Well, usually I'll put on like Excalibur or His Girl Friday or All About Eve or Waiting to Exhale or something like that because I prefer to listen to movies that I know the the lines word for word because it helps me sleep better because it, sometimes my mind just thinks about stuff and if I'm not watching it but I'm hearing it I'm playing the movie in my head so then it takes up that bandwidth to keep me from thinking about things anyways so I randomly come across hairspray 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 <laughs> in my you know catalog and I'm like you know what I have not you know, watch Hairspray or listen to Hairspray in forever. Let me just go ahead and put on that and go to sleep to that. So then, as soon as she starts singing the first song, Good Morning Baltimore, I'm like, are you kidding me? Really? (laughs) So I'm just saying, throwing it out there. Let me go ahead and get to this. (laughs) Random, I know, but I had to get it off my chest. (laughs) Okay, may I have the energy for the collective for Wednesday, April 27th. May I have the energy for the collective for Wednesday, April 27th. May I have the energy for the collective for Wednesday, April 27th. What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? For Wednesday, April 27th. What is it that the collective needs to hear? 
What is it that the collective needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? What is it that the collective needs to hear? Thank you. Two cards came out. Need another one. Right. May I have another card, please? Thank you. Actually, it looks like two cards. Yeah. I'm going to turn this one over. I'm going to put this one at the bottom of the deck and then we'll... You know what? This was the card that came out during the pre-shuffle at the bottom of the deck. Make happiness a habit. I might title this video that. Make happiness a habit. Okay. So that's the bottom of the deck card. First card that came out, Life is Beautiful, is the first card that came out. Second card that came out, Life is Too Short to Wait. Life is Too Short to Wait. So some of you might need to take action on something. Also, um, going back to Life is Beautiful, some of you may need to be in that glass half full energy instead of glass half empty. And then it says... The third card that came out, don't forget to wear a smile. Don't forget to wear a smile. So some of you might need to smile more. And for those of you thinking, well, what is there to smile about? There's always something to smile about. If you, if you take time to really, really think about it, I mean, if you're alive, that's something to smile about. So <laughs> just saying, what is the energy for the collective for... Wednesday, April 27th. Can we clarify life is beautiful? Can we clarify life is beautiful? Can we clarify life is beautiful? May I have a card for life is beautiful, please? May I have a card for life is beautiful, please? I don't know why. I'm throwing this out here now. Some of you, and take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Some of you feel like your lives have been turned upside down. And the reason I'm saying that is because when I had this deck, I had picked it up upside down. And I had to switch it back the other way. And then the same thing just happened with this deck. I told you, I pay attention to little things in the energy. Some of you feel like you, your life has been turned upside down. But you need to remember that life is beautiful. And you really need to work on making happiness a habit in doing that. Make happiness a habit. Let me clarify life is beautiful. All right. This card fell down. What is this? Yeah, this is the star. It came out, it fell down reversed. Some of you need to look to the brighter side of things. Some of you, and the star is about healing. Also, this is Aquarius energy for those who don't know. Some of you too need to really do some soul searching. The answer is in you. The happiness is in you. If you don't see that. The happiness starts with you. You are the star. You are the healer. You're the one who's able to heal yourself. I mean, obviously you can pray to the divine, your angel, spirit team for healing. But... You're the one who can heal yourself. It's amazing because healing came up a lot during the May readings. Just throwing that out there. But with this, there's something out there that brings you happiness. I think it's just the point of you seeing it and keeping the faith. And also that the star card is about keeping the faith too. As well. Because life is beautiful. 
You just have to keep the faith and you have to believe. It's about believing. Also, I just heard wish coming true because it can be about wishes too. For those of you who feel your life is turned upside down, because that's really, really sticking with me. Believe in miracles. Because I have a feeling that something that you've been wishing for will happen. And when it does, it will turn things around for you. However, no matter how much abundance comes into your life, it still is about you. Meaning that if you're not fixed on the inside, it doesn't matter what the universe brings into your life. There, there isn't going to be any balance. It's, it's not going to work. So just throwing that out there. Can we clarify life is too short, please? Can we clarify life is too short? Yeah, Nine of Swords energy. There's a lot of air energy here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But this is more specifically Gemini energy. Nine of Swords, life is too short. Some of you are in your head about something. And you really need to go ahead and take action. Don't, don't think about what could go wrong. Think about what could go right. But some of you are in your head. For others of you, you're just in your head over something that I feel is really kind of trivial. Where in your mind, it's, it's weighing you down and you're thinking it's a big deal. But really, it's not that big of a deal. And life is too short to, to worry about that. Is what I'm picking up. Life is too short to worry about it. So for some of you, yeah, you're thinking it's a really big deal and it's really not. For others of you, there is something that you need to take action on, but it is almost like analysis paralysis. I'm, su I'm surprised the two of swords didn't come out. But um, yeah, what's at the bottom of the deck so far? Seven of wands, you have the high ground. So if there's something where you feel you are under attack or whatever what in you know whatever type of attack you may feel you're under you have the high ground so you're able to defend what you have which was the thing yesterday which is what some of you are doing all right can we clarify don't forget to wear a smile can we clarify don't forget to wear a smile Whoa. Okay, two cards seem like they wanted to come out, so I'm going to take both of these. All right. Five of Wands fell at the bottom, and then the world wanted to come out, so I took it. One thing that you can smile about, if there's any conflict going on, is coming to an end. Because you have the world card and... You have the five of wands. So if there's any conflict going on. And conflict doesn't necessarily have to be with another person. It can be internal conflict. It's going to come to an end. Something's going to change. And world card is fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio energy. And of course, um, five of wands is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Is what that is. I feel that for some of you with this conflict, you're going to be smiling after it comes to an end. Whether it's internal conflict or whether it's conflict with something else. And it's kind of interesting because at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Which is Virgo energy. So, yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles... You're going to be very stable. Stability is going, stability will come in. And definitely that is something to smile about. It's almost like, you know how they always say, don't forget where you came from type thing. I'm not going to say that. I will say, 
Don't forget all of the obstacles and tests you were able to overcome because that's what the world card is about. You pass the test. So you're going to another level. And because you're going to another level, don't forget to wear a smile. Because you'll have stability. But the main thing to remember throughout all of this is make happiness a habit. All right? So that's your quick three tarot for Wednesday, April 27th. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Until next time, be blessed.